no matter how much I try, I can't be a plastic surgeon, but we can be one with our image because we have Photoshop. We have already done altering the body in our last video, and today is the turn of the face. Hello everyone, welcome to Dexplorian. For those who don't know me, I'm Didi, and this channel is all about designing in Photoshop and sharing the process with you. And along with that, we explore various tools, techniques, and tips and tricks which will improve your workflow and level up your graphic design. Today, we are diving into one of Photoshop's most powerful and fun tool, the Face Ever Liquify tool, and reveal the magic behind perfecting any face. So stay tuned and see how easy it is to make your images truly pop. We are on my screen with Photoshop already opened, and this is the image I'm going to use to demonstrate the tool. I'll be using another image later on, and if any of these images suits any of your projects, you can get the download links in the description. I'll resize it a bit and then convert it into a smart object. This is an important step and I have already explained the reason for that in the first part of the Liquify video series. And if you are in the learning phase, then I would highly recommend you to watch that video by clicking on the i button above and the link for the same will be given in the description as well. And now we go to filter and click on Liquify. This is the Liquify workspace. In the last video, we have already learned about the different tools and options available here. Since this video is about the face of a Liquify, we will click here to open the option for it. The first option we get here is the select face. By default, face 1 will be selected. And why it is face 1? Because there is only one prominent face or subject in this image. Though there are other human subjects in the image, but they are in the background and Photoshop is a very powerful program. It is capable of detecting and differentiating between the main subject and the background. And then we get all the facial features listed down here and we are gonna expand them one by one. I will zoom in onto her face so that we can see clearly. And now if we move the eye size slider here, you will notice the change in the size of the left eye. And if you want to change the size of both the eyes equally and simultaneously, we have to click on this chain like icon here in the middle and now both the eyes will be affected. There is another way of doing it. We have to activate the face tool here by clicking it and now when we hover over the face, you will notice few anchor points appearing and you can grab one of those and drag to achieve the same result. But I find it a little uncomfortable and working with the slider is much easy and you can have a precise result. Similarly, we have eye height width and tilt and you can even alter the distance between the eyes isn't it amazing i'm sure you will have fun while using this tool and if you're already having fun watching this video then please hit the like button just down there and do subscribe to the channel for more such contents and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new video now let's continue with our exploration next we have the sliders for the nose and you can play with them in the same way as we did with the eyes then we have the mouth and in that, first we have the smile, then upper lip, lower lip, mouth width and height. Next section is about the overall face shape and in that you have the forehead, the chin height, then jawline and lastly the face width. Let me show you another option we have right here which is not that useful, but as a Photoshop artist, I think we should know and there's no harm in knowing. I'm talking about this view option here and in that, if you check on the show mesh here, you will get a grid overlay. You can use it if you want. I don't mess with these options and keep them as they are. You can also turn on and off the face overlay here. And by the way, you won't get the reconstruct options in the face ever liquify. When you are happy with the adjustments, hit OK, return to the main canvas and now we can turn on and off the smart filter to see the difference. Let's say we want to enlarge the eyes even further, but if you remember, we already cranked the slider all the way to 100 and we cannot go any further. In such cases, what we will do is again go to filter and then apply the liquify filter again. You can also use the shortcut keys given here to apply it. And now we have a fresh set of sliders and we can again alter them to take it further. I got one more thing to show you and for that I'll be using this image where we have two equally prominent subjects. Our image is already a smart object so we'll apply the liquify filter and now in the select face here we have face 1 and face 2. 
See how Photoshop has detected the two subjects in the image. Now we can select them one by one and play with the sliders. Face 1 is the male face here. Now we will alter the face 2 which is the woman face here. I am done and I will hit ok and now let's see the difference. This is before and this is after. Interesting isn't it? It's even more fun when you use it yourself. So quickly grab a picture of your friend or sibling and start experimenting. And if you want to see my creation with this tool then you can watch this video.